Hello student, in this uh, video I will be giving you some general uh, points or guidelines that will be helping you to overcome the challenges that uh, many of you might be uh, facing. Uh, the major challenge that everybody is facing is this COVID-19 because of that uh, these offline classes are not feasible and uh, you, you are being exposed and uh, supposed to use uh, this online classes uh, for learning purpose so this is something uh, we all can't do anything much so you need to accept that mode of learning adopt it and uh, give you a hundred percent as if this is the uh, learning method that that is the only we are having and uh, you should not wait for the situation to be get normalized and then start studying that will be too late so that's one point uh, other challenges that uh, you uh, might be getting uh, are as the syllabus is moving forward, uh, there will be uh, backlogs coming in, there will be feeling that you are not able to do all the materials and books that are available there or are being uh, subs uh, prescribed. Uh, there will be issues or challenges like how to use the resources like time and uh, how uh, to do a study so that you can get your potential marks which is not uh, coming as as of now so these points can be tackled uh, by uh, following guidelines so you you can follow that and there, there some of these challenges are very natural uh, very uh, process oriented as you have migrated from this school of um, environment school environment of 10th standard and coming to uh, this competition environment which is entirely different and uh, in that school environment you used to have a certain books, materials, notes and uh, the questions used to come from that notes uh, itself. So you used to understand or memorize or whatever to get that um, uh, exam done and you scored well. Situation here is different, there is no such single material uh, or book that can be uh, prescribed to you so that all the questions coming from that particular material no it's not there neither in physics chemistry or maths so uh, to deal with that uh, you need to uh, understand the things there's a slavers that slavers has to be followed carefully understood everything carefully and then use that slavers uh, that learning to give the uh, answer of the question that are coming in the examination and then questions may be new or, or by coincidence coming from the, some resource and then that will be uh, helping you to get the mark so marks are uh, secondary or you can say byproduct for us and process learning concept learning is primary very very important so uh, to overcome the situation like backlogs and uh, this thing so uh, you need to be very very uh, focused relevant and uh, selective since uh, in online there are so many uh, resources, so many lectures present and everything is there and you can't do everything, be, be practical. So you need to just follow the instructions that are being told to you, follow the uh, lectures, recorded lectures, live interactions, DPP module, whatever is given to you, just stick to this and the books that have been suggested to you. For instance, in physics we have talked about the S.C. Verma book for conceptual learning and uh, DC Pande and uh, Senge you can use for practice purpose. Of course, uh, in parallel you cannot carry all the books together. That means you cannot uh, uh, solve all the books parallelly. So you make a selection like uh, uh, your notes and then SCV you can run parallel uh, and then take one book out of DCP and uh, Senge that you have to solve parallelly whatever the content is going on and uh, then uh, other book and NCRT you can keep uh, um, solving after some time, time lag. That means whenever you get uh, some extra time, maybe on Sundays, or maybe on some holidays and uh, moreover uh, in, in schedule, whenever you make a schedule, give a time also for revision. So in that revision po uh, time duration, you can solve uh, other books. So this is how uh, you can manage your uh, all the books that are being sub, uh, supposed to be or that, that are supposed to be solved by you at the beginning level, right? And, um, and more focus has to be given on the learning part and practice part. Uh, once you have understood the concept better, you can easily apply uh, it and get a question done. 
Right. This is a competition that another point you need to keep in mind. It's not uh, school, as I said. Here, it's not that uh, every time you can get 100%. 100% is the best case scenario. And uh, it's always about like how ahead you are from the rest of this uh, candidate. So for that sake, you need to do the question very carefully. Even if it becomes, imp even, if in, even if you are not able to solve a question, it becomes very important to decide whether to leave it or guess it. So since the negative marking is there, no guessing is expected from you. In physics, when we uh, study these concepts, and uh, there are some critical points for every question to answer. And whenever I taught you, give you a lecture, then there are certain locations when I give more emphasis upon. You must note those points down very carefully because these are the critical points where the decisions are being, ta being taken. And if the question paper is hard enough, a student, majority student makes a mistake there. Right. So uh, make your notes based on that. Give uh, more emphasis on the point where I have give, given emphasis upon. And with those uh, recorded lectures, you need to f thoroughly study or go going through the books. Books are very important. I'm not suggesting that uh, you should go for uh, another lectures from some uh, national branding or in any other organization in YouTube not sub supposed to because that will waste your time, that will waste your um, efforts, that will uh, not give you uh, a concrete solution, many things you will be watching repeatedly, uh, that's not going to work. So better use the, the recorded lectures and the books. Still if you have a problem then uh, discuss with your peer groups or ask the teacher. Right. So uh, that will be making your learning part important, uh, effective. If learning is effective, then the practice, do more and more questions as uh, uh, this, uh, these books are suggested. And uh, also try to think a uh, question, how you can do it in multiple ways. Because as I said, it's a process that is more, is more important, not the answer. Answer is just a byproduct. So if you have done a question in one way, think over the time uh, how you can connect it with other. Till now, you have covered a couple of chapters. So linking must have been started. And you need to focus upon that part okay so that's about um, this physics part how you can carry this uh, syllabus uh, and uh, not creating the backlogs and whatever this uh, backlogs if at all is being created you take the extra time whatever the uh, uh, this break days are you can use that part as far as the schedule is concerned many of you are keep on asking sir how many hours i should study for good marks well, it depends on your ambition level. There is no limit for uh, time hours to devote upon a study. Uh, but in general, is to do, a student uh, give uh, four or five hours initially for physics on an average daily basis. So make your schedule. Let's say you are choosing four hours a day for physics. So it could be like this, one hour to give for the current going stuff. Like NLM is going through, so one hour uh, making notes, uh, reading SCV, and then conceptual part of these current going uh, syllabus. And then give uh, two hours for practice. Two hours, I'm saying that two hours for practice, right? You see how important the practice is. And give one hour, one hour for um, revision, the previous thing that you have done, like uh, unit and dimension, vector, kinematics, and keep on repeating them periodically. Because it's not only that you are learning things, it's also equally important that uh, you retain those things uh, for all, all the time. So that one hour daily for revision is going to be very, very critical. And if you are ha making a habit from now onwards, so you'll find everything will be repeated, uh, that over the time everything will be free, uh, frozen in your brain. So it will be very simple. If you are not revising, let's say you, are, you have left vectors for two months, then you'll find revising this will become difficult. That will be just like uh, studying was again, and it will consume time, effort, and you will not be that efficient. So revision one hour is must. And as the time passes, importance of revision will increase. So keep that in mind. Uh, okay, and uh, schedule uh, timing, uh, I would suggest that use uh, one hour that you are studying uh, conceptual learning or revision in the morning hours. Well, it's up to your habit, but it is uh, uh, experienced and it is well known that uh, it's better to wake up at four o'clock and study than study till four o'clock in the night. So late night study, you can avoid. Early morning study, you can uh, accept or adopt 
it will be uh, giving you long term benefits okay and uh, apart from this uh, uh, time management in examination whenever you are giving a test paper uh, you will need to be very selective because this test this test is again i said uh, different from the test that you have given earlier uh, they are objective this seems simpler but they are not so all right so there are four options you need to mark the correct ones so uh, you first you read the question see whether you know the concept jot down the points that are uh, given to you try to think what are the concept involved go through all the points and then make a decision make a decision whether this question you can try and get the answer if something is missing leave it immediately go to the next question because leaving becomes more uh, beneficial than trying it wrong and if you have a habit of uh, guessing forget about it don't guess it until unless you are damn sure don't mark it because guessing will lead may lead to a negative marking and you know that that, that impact is uh, very dangerous and whenever you give this paper this is a 3 hours paper so uh, uh, first you just go through a question decide whether you can do or leave or you can try later if it is coming in your ambit that you can do it get answer correctly just mark it and go at right and uh, this way you can uh, go through the entire paper no question will be left and you will get time whatever the time uh, you are left over you again go through the entire paper see those questions which was supposed to or you have marked that you are going to come back right and um, when you are coming second time to that question there is a probability that you can do it because your unconscious uh, mind works on that and it may give you uh, the uh, formula that or the concept that you were missing at that time right so um, and this keep uh, you can repeat this thing you can go for the second reading then third reading uh, as fast as you can and if you are uh, lagging in time in this uh, test paper in the exam uh, in this exams and you are finding that time is not sufficient make this habit whenever do you practice for two hours let's say for physics daily basis uh, put a timer select a question let's say 50 question you have selected or let's say 25 question you have selected and one hour put the timer in front of you and then solve let the brain has this sense that you are running out of time it's not should be like you have got one hour to solve one question that that's 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 not, not not the point so putting the timer doing the question based on that timer you will find your brain will become quicker in thinking in connecting in making decision taking decision whether whether this question has to be done or left it might be the case in one hour you are not able to solve this 25 questions or 30 questions whatever you have targeted for uh, but yes you need to keep it repeating over the time you will find this will grow let's in first attempt you are able to do only 15 question in one hour then second time maybe like 15 or 14 or 16 third time you will find slowly it will be appearing growing and within one month or so you will find it will grow to uh, like if word 15 you can reaching you will be reaching to 20 questions so these five questions has come in because of this practice so that is another important practice that you need to make all right so this is how you can uh, uh, use your time for exams increase your uh, speed and uh, accuracy as i told told you until and unless you are sure you should not mark a question so accuracy and speed they are very very critical for for this examination right and same thing you can do for other uh, subjects like chemistry and maths and uh, <clears throat> uh, then overall performance will grow definitely grow over the time it's, it's a patience game and uh, all the subjects you should be uh, you should be studying daily basis it should not it's not like one day physics one day chemistry one day math that that won't work because after two days gap if you are studying physics it will be um, not not good for you uh, brain will be forgetting many of things so every day study consistent study focused if you uh, maintain it for the two years uh, you will find it will be giving you fruits uh, initially uh, five six months are very very challenging uh, in that five, five six months your habits are being developed if you have developed good habits the rest of the preparation will become very very easy if the habits are not uh, up to that mark then you'll face a challenging situation ahead as well Right. So I hope these points are going to help you in uh, um, tackling this, these backlogs and uh, uh, making a schedule uh, based on your time availability and following it 
and uh, using the time properly in the test and examinations. Okay, so uh, this is uh, these are some of the points I wanted to share. So I hope it's going to be benefit to you. Thank you, everyone. Have a great time.